Redbeard the Kilted Rider here. I'm just uh, giving everyone a heads up. There's some turkeys over there. You probably can't see them, but they're all puffing up. We're having a beautiful, exact, beautiful place right now. This is my hometown, El Dorado Hills, Rescue California. Just over at a church right now. Just kind of taking in the scenery. So yeah, I'm actually in California right now, and that's a big, what the hell. The ride's about over. I'm around at 7,000 miles. I'm going to end it in a few days going to San Francisco. But just to give everyone a heads up, I um, took a detour because I realized I was 700 miles away from home. The original plan was to head back to Florida and finish up my last two months in the military. But I decided I was going to just bring the bike home, leave it at my uh, dad's place because he's a mechanic. He knows a lot of that stuff. Uh, he can diagnose the bike while I'm not here. I'll know it'll be uh, looked after. Hey, there's Joe and me. Your Harley's really nice, Drew. Take off, Joe. Basically just trying to get a lot of stuff done. I'll be flying out of San Francisco in a few days. It's gonna fly back to Pensacola. But yeah, I got a lot of footage I have to go through. I'm just basically getting this video out to let you guys know I'm basically made it. I'm safe. And uh, I'm probably gonna put a poll in See what you guys want to see. If you just want to see the raw footage, I'm gonna to try to edit footage like into highlights and stuff. If you want raw footage, highlights, my vlog, which one you want first, I'm gonna to try to put it in those vlogs because I did a lot of talking to the camera. But since there was so much inclement weather and so many uh, things I went through, I wasn't fully able to always vlog and moto vlog. But I've been far, the bike's been through a lot, I've been through the snow, been through a little bit of some deserts in Nevada. Been through freaking forest, been through the cold, been through, I've seen so much of the U.S., been through salt flats. It's just been crazy. And um, I've, I know I've not responded to a lot of you. A lot of you have sent me messages and stuff. I'm really sorry I wasn't able to respond. I've just been moving so fast, trying to cover like around 300 miles a day, and it's just been very tough. So I'm sorry about not responding to your comments and other things like that. But when I get this out, probably get another video out of just highlights of the trip. I'm going to try to start working to edit all my footage and get it through if anyone's interested. Comment down what you're interested to see because sometimes that helps me. And sometimes I put songs on that annoy people, but I, I don't care. It all depends on kind of your taste. But yeah, I'll probably finish the ride in a few days riding down to San Francisco. And if you um, all around my Instagram or my Facebook page, I post all my pictures there of where I'm at and stuff. That's a better way to get in contact with me too if I was going through your place. And it's kind of keeping this to myself. I probably won't have maps in the videos, but sorry about that. I wish I did. But my next couple of rides, um, I got two months left in the military. I'm going to, for my terminal leave, I plan this out with my dad. He has a Jeep. I'm going to ride up to Dead Horse, Alaska, up the Dalton Highway. And for those of you who know that, that's basically a highway that leads into the Arctic Circle in Alaska. I'm trying to do that in uh, around beginning of August on my Harley. And i got to retrofit that Harley, though. I have to get higher pipes, do a little bit of things. I wish I had smaller tires so I could put on some uh, put on some uh, better, some dirt tires. But this is all down the road. And I was honestly waiting to finish this ride to make sure I survive before telling people what I'm going to go. And my next plan, so a lot of people ask me how to do cross-country trips, how to do this stuff, and how much it costs. And if you guys want to see those videos, just comment down, basically tell me that you want to see them. Because if you do, I will make those videos. I'll have, it might have to wait a little bit before I can sift through all this footage, though. I'll make the videos as soon as I can. But this trip, I think, cost me, I have the exact measurements, but there's a lot of unforeseen expenses. Like, I wasn't supposed to do a motel any time, but I got in, like, 30-degree weather, and that's the only thing I could do to survive. If, if you're a bigger BA than me and can freaking do that crap, that's fine. That's one thing I'm going to do. But I think around this trip, I spent at at most 3000 at least 2000 but I think I spent around 2500 That's some other stuff I did with like 500 I had to do that whole tow and get that whole tire repaired, and that cost me around $500. Just little things like that. And the motel's built up, because so I had to take so many of them, because I was... But I got a lot of things that helped cut the price, too, because I stayed with so many people. 
But yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. This is kind of the piece of the biggest thing though I want to put out there. So now that I've made this ride, I'm going to start posting all those videos that I can. I'm going to... So I got... I've saved up quite a bit of money being in the military because I don't drink, I don't party, I don't do any of that stuff. And I've been planning on this for a while now. Planning around eight months and kept it to myself. I'm planning around the world trip. I'm planning on... This is kind of the beginning of it, my whole USA trip, and then the Alaska trip. So I've hit all four points of uh, the U.S. so far. If I can get to Dead Horse, Alaska, I would have hit San Diego, Key West, Maine, and then if I can hit Dead Horse, Alaska, that's all four points of the U.S. And then I'm planning on riding the bike back over when I'm out of the military to the East Coast, shipping the bike overseas to Europe. Kind of, It's going to be a little bit in the winter, but I want to kind of try to stay south as much as I can and basically just hang around there for a few months, ride around Europe, and then uh, in the spring or summer, when it all starts to dethaw, uh, de ride across Russia in 30 days. I need a visa for this. I know all, I know a lot of stuff I'm going to need. I mean, it's like a current day pass, the visas, uh, international driver's license, just a little, just a bunch of little stuff that I need, all my paperwork. And if you guys have any recommendations for me, let me know. I'm going to try to stay in hostels and camp. But when I get to Russia, I want to ferry to uh, Japan, then Korea, then go through Australia, and then ship the bike back to North America. I want to do South America, but everyone keeps advising me against it. So I probably won't do that, even though how much I really want to. And I'm on a Harley, so I'm trying to stay on some good roads. And then it was, a lot of people will tell me I'm crazy for even trying to think of this, but something I want to do. And in the and some of you, everyone asks me, where do you get the money for that? Well, I got the money from hard work and knowing how to save my money. A lot of people like to say, um, I don't even know, like, people who actually know me and I tell them how I save the money, like, the people who know me understand why I have the money because I just sat there and I worked, saved my money, invested my money into little things, into some penny stocks, grew my money, and I'm around 27000 right now in my savings. And I don't want to use all of that. I want to try to get some sponsors, maybe for some equipment or something. Maybe Harley will sponsor me, but I doubt it. But this is all just down the line. Uh, yeah, that's about... I'm trying to think of anything else I can talk about. I'm going to do my round-of-the-world trip. If any or any other countries and you, you want to know anything about it, just let me know. Ask questions about it. I'm probably going to make a bigger video completely on this trip that I'm going to do to Alaska. And then about the um, ride I'm going to take, I'll try to get more videos out. And yeah, basically going to bum it for hopefully, and this trip will probably take around a year and a half to two years. Hopefully just a year, that'd be nice, but everyone keeps telling me different stuff. Try to get all those videos I can out as fast as I can. I really appreciate all you who watch, because to be honest, I've been, I built this YouTube channel for that ride across the world because I want to document it. And I was fine with 50 subscribers. I really was. And I was I was just doing it to kind of get it out there, make it easy to show people. And I'm at like 950 subscribers now almost. That's, that, that's crazy to me. I thought, I don't know. There's a lot of other people who deserve it more. And that some people give me shout outs. So I'm going to probably one video do a shout out video too because a uh, guy did that for me just to get other people's names out there. Because I don't think I deserve 950 subscribers. My videos, some of them are good. But some of them are very subpar. There are a lot of good people out there who make better videos than me. But I'm just trying to be, show you a genuine adventure of the crap I do. Then I get people saying, if you want a real adventure, look at this guy. That's fine. I try to do, I try to make it with what I got. So, yeah, if you want to keep visit, if you want to keep up with my adventures, what I'm going to be doing in the next couple, uh, next couple of years, if nothing happens to me. And hopefully I can get out of the military with no problems. Also, I'll also explain all that. Who I, one video I'll probably go over and explain who I am, what I'm doing, how I do the stuff I do. So yeah, that's all I got to talk about. If you need anything, just let me know. And I got a little tiny beard going. I'll, I'll, I know it's small, but it's something. So... Just go from here. Just enjoy the scenery. It's a beautiful place I live in, or used to live in. <laughs> Don McGlass. All right, we're gonna end it with Don McGlass!